Uh huh. You know what, America? I'm now officially laughing at you, finding you to be the most corrupt, pathetic nation on the planet. Thank you for showing me that I was always right about you, that you are a disgusting nation filled with sin and nastiness. You have to be the dumbest country on the planet. You have allowed abortion to come into your nation. You have allowed these sick abortionists to not only kill off children, little babies, innocent little creatures, but you have allowed them to murder them, chop, them, chop, chop their bodies up into little pieces, and sell them off on the black market. Well done. Great job for you. Well done. No, you're not going to go to hell, right? Absolutely amazing, America, what's going on right now, and you all don't even see it. I made a video just last week. I called it Removing the Blessings. But because you're all so sad and pathetic, you can't bother to watch my video, right? Well, I'll just remake it again. I'll keep making it and rubbing it in your faces. Because that's what I'm going to do from now on. Just rub it in your faces. It's absolutely hilarious. You all think that you're going to constantly belittle God, badger God, make fun of God, and pretend like you don't need Him. But at the same time, you're all going, What's happening to our country? It's dying. What's happening to marriage? It's dying. We are aborting our children now. We're losing our sovereignty. What's going on? Ha <laughs> ha. It's called God removing the blessings from your country, you idiots. You're all so stupid you actually believe that marriage is given to you by government. You act like children are given to you by government. That family is given to you by government. Don't you understand? Those are things that were given to you directly by God. And since you've all gotten rid of God, He's now removing the blessings. Do you understand what a country's going to be like if there's no more newborns? If everybody's fighting each other? Do you have any idea what kind of road you're going down, you simpleton sheep? You all want to continue going down that road, acting like it's the best fucking road out there, like you don't even care where you end up. And yet you see all the destruction going around you. As, as the further you go down this road, the more darker things become. The more darkness you see, the more darkness you accept. Instead of saying, okay, this is clearly a bad road, because look, the road is all broken up, there's dead bodies everywhere, maybe we shouldn't go down this road. Now, nah, instead you'd rather just go, okay, let's try for ourselves, let's go down this road, la -ti da Meanwhile, God is literally packing his suitcases and moving out of the country. God has seriously packed up his suitcases and left the country. Have you not noticed everything that is going down in the United States right now? Is all things related to God? Family, marriage, social status, social life, everything that you know in America right now is going down the toilet. Neighbor doesn't, neighbor's turning against neighbor? That's biblical. It's all biblical. But you all want to keep putting your heads in the sand. Pretending there is no God. So even when he's removing the blessings from your life, right in front of you, stripping them away, you still don't want to see them. Absolutely amazing I laugh in your face for this. Then you have your fucking social media out there that comes out saying, we can't believe it. Planned Parenthood is selling off baby parts. And I'm like, duh, what else do you expect the devil to do? <laughs> You're all really simple, man. Simple. And not in a good way. Simple in the worst way. Oh, the country's coming to an end. I can't do anything. I'm just one person. Let it go. <laughs> I laugh so hard in America right now. I find it to be a complete and utter joke. Welcome to the world, folks, of no God in your life. Congratulations on pushing God that far. I'd hate to figure out what other thing he's going to bring upon you. Oh, that's right, like a stock market crash in September. Good luck with that. How can you sit there saying he's not real while all this shit is happening around you? Who the fuck is you to even say he's not real? What a bold statement you're making there, right? 
Oh, God's not real, so therefore I just believe he's not real, so therefore he's it's not going to happen. Nothing bad's going to happen to me because, hey, I don't believe in a God. Right, you simpleton sheep? Meanwhile, everything given to you by God is being taken away from you. Your families, your friends, your, your, your entire world that you know is just being turned upside down. Oh, but there is no God. No, 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 no. God is not, God, there's no God. No, there's no God. <coughs> he just strips away everything of ours, but there is no God. He's taking away our liberty, our freedoms, taking away our families and homes, taking away our jobs. But no, there is no God. Right, you ignorant, stupid, arrogant sheep? Right? There is no God, right? I can't believe the abortion clinics are killing off babies and then chopping the body parts up and selling them. I can't believe this is happening in the United States. Obama! Obama! Obama, save us! Save us, Almighty Service! Savior Obama, save us! Save us, Obama, save us! We need you, Master! Save us, Master! We can't do it on our own, Master! Help us, Master! Help us, oh, Mr. Black President! Save us from ourselves! Ha 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 so fucking pathetic! I love seeing God attack your country right now. I am loving it. I see the hand of God upon you. And I've warned you. And you have arrogantly wavered me away. Calling me a conspiracy theorist. There ain't no conspiracy here. The only conspiracy is coming from your side. There is no God. That's a pretty big conspiracy seeing how he's standing right in front of you. Good luck to you all. You're going to need it. Ha ha from me.